Rick Fisher, thank you so much for joining us. Great to have you back on the show. Tiffany, thanks for having me back. Now, Rick, since Taiwan's new president's inauguration, William Lai, China has been ramping up military drills around Taiwan. China is saying these are designed to test its ability to, quote, seize power. Now, this year's drills seem bigger than in the past. What's your read on the size and why it matters? What we are beginning to learn, especially from Chinese state media, is that the exercise is probably much more sophisticated in terms of incorporating simulation or uh, synthetic aspects, as uh, the People's Liberation Army likes to call it. Uh, missiles are being rolled out of their shelters, but not fired. But uh, the whole process of the missile exercise is taking place in simulation. and. There is also uh, a chat from the, these same Chinese sources about more sophisticated jointness. That is, the Air Force cooperating with the Navy, the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Missile Force cooperating together. Now, we just saw recently that Russia's Putin was in China. At the time, the, the two leaders, including Xi Jinping, reaffirmed their No Limits partnership. That was launched right before Russia invaded Ukraine over two years ago. Given this new level of friendship between the two, what does that mean for Taiwan? Well, for many years, I have been warning about active Russian participation in either a blockade and or an invasion of Taiwan. Uh, I believe that the Chinese and the Russians have been preparing for this for well over a decade. Uh, just last May 2nd, the director of the Central Intelligence Agency, Director Haynes, testified before our Congress of her fear that yes, Russia would assist Chinese military operations directed against Taiwan. I think to this, we also have to add North Korea. What can the U.S. do now to make sure we aren't caught by surprise when that does happen? The most important and direct move the United States can make right now is to ramp up production of tactical nuclear weapons, tactical nuclear artillery shells, bombs on aircraft, warheads for the new missiles that we're producing. This is deterrence. And the nuclear aspect is, is, is just a one small element. Uh, the United States needs a much larger air force, much larger navy, uh, a much larger transport air force to rapidly send troops from one end of the earth to the other. Rick Fisher, thank you so much for your time. Tiffany, thank you.